Hey guys, uh, a lot has happened in the last week actually, surprisingly, something actually happened. So we'll actually go in chronicle, chrono -la -la -la, chronological order this time. So on Saturday, went to work as usual, charity shop, don't actually get paid. And I came home and I checked my iPad and found I had a message from one of my friends. She'd a few weeks ago started a second job. I don't mean it was her second job, I mean she had two jobs. The second one was about five minutes down the road from me and meant she had to have a 20 minute bus journey and because her bus pass didn't cover it, she was having to pay for her tickets and the pay wasn't as good. So she was thinking about giving it up. So she'd suggested me to her boss. Uh, I probably would have been hired anyway, but my friend quit when I went in on Sunday for a trial. So I got my friend's job. So I started at a cafe on Sunday. It was it's actually really fun and I get paid for it. Um, it unfortunately meant that on Wednesday when I got my day off I had spent part of it going into town to leave the charity shop which was really sad but sorry I'm getting a bit warm I should have taken this off first. <sighs> yeah. And I was really sad to go but they're keeping me on record so that I will still work during the holidays like I used to sort of on Mondays during the holidays and once I've gone off to uni I'll come back. And the next thing that happened was on Tuesday when I found out that I got a silver in the senior maths challenge which is the same as I got last year but I'm so so happy about it. I was talking to one of my friends yesterday on Thursday and uh, he and someone else narrowly missed out on the maths olympiad though they were both sad because it was their last challenge and they've been so close for years it's just really sad anyway okay on Wednesday I had a lovely line on Wednesday because I was exhausted been up till one in the morning but I had a lovely line on Wednesday till about quarter to nine and I'd been awake for about 10 minutes and I'd gone on my iPad and then I realised, oh wait, I've got another email alert in the last 10 minutes. Went on it. I got an offer from my favourite uni for the course I really, really wanted. University of Sussex Biochemistry. Oh, I'm so excited. I told my, well, she's not my chemistry teacher anymore, but she was last year and her degree is in biochemistry. I told her about it. She was surprised because they offered me for a, a grade above my chemistry, a grade below my maths and on my biology predictors, which is why they offered it. But yeah, so I'm going to have to work really hard in order to get it because it's a conditional offer, but it's the course I want, four years masters, paid research placement, oh. and not a, um, not a sandwich yet, it's in the summer at the university. <laughs> it's really cool. I'm sorry, I'm just very excited. So I got a job, I did well in the maths challenge, and I got an offer for the course I wanted from my favourite uni. And then on Thursday, I got my biology test back and I got a B! Which is, it doesn't sound that great, because I got a B. It's, it sounds better when out of a year of about 60 or 70 people, only about 10 people didn't get a U. I think there were two or three of us who got B and one person might have gotten an A. So <laughs> it's actually really good. Although I don't know how when people who've been getting A's got U's. I've been getting a B in every single test. And this one, where so many people struggled, is the closest I've ever gotten to an A. I was one mark off and I'm so annoyed. To be fair, if I was two marks below what I've got, I would have been in the great blow. <laughs> the boundaries are insanely narrow because it was only out of 53 and the percentage boundary is 5% so it's literally a couple of marks and you've moved two grade boundaries. It's ridiculous. But I did okay and I'm so happy. And then I had a chemistry test today. It was horrible. I hate tests but it actually went better than I thought it would because I stress about chemistry because I usually get U's interspersed with the oca- no, I usually get C's interspersed with the occasional U's. Get it the right way around, Sam. You're not that bad. Uh, <laughs> and I have one A. And I got predict only got predicted a B 
on the strength of my end of year exams last year, my, um, my mocks, when I actually got a B on a test and that's the only time every other test I've gotten a C. And formal homework, which are past paper question booklets, I've got one that I need to do for Monday that I was given two weeks ago. I haven't done it because we had the test, so she they're supposed to be due in for a week, but she gave it two weeks. And it's just this. This is a sort of small one, and it's just past paper questions, but we'll put them. Yeah, there's about there's usually about 15 questions. This one has 11. So 11. That's it just a bit more of 11 on there. But anyway, yeah, so this week's actually been a really good week. I know you're probably wondering if you've watched my previous videos, what happened? I actually was proactive and asked, but nothing is going to be happening. For some reason I'm strangely okay with that. I'm just really happy. I've been happy all week and I, I'm not entirely sure why. But I'm just really, really happy. <sighs> Feels really nice. I have a cup of tea waiting for me. I have to do maths, watch DCs and read fan fiction. That's my entire evening. <sighs> so I will bid you farewell now. Because I need to sleep at some point. <laughs> Bye.